Hey, what is up everyone? It's Rich. All right, welcome to a series of videos that I'm gonna do on creating hyper detail with your art. The first demo is gonna be with me inking, but we will get into penciling videos with this. And um, I'm gonna really kind of show you not only how, how to create detailed art, but but really kind of the thought process behind it and, and uh, where it's appropriate how it works and uh, what it can really add to your art when done well. So what you're going to see here is I'm inking um, part of a thigh right now on Martian Manhunter. And what I do is, so so David in his pencil drawing has white, black, and then basically rendered gray areas. So when I go near an area that's going to be black like this line on the thigh i'm going to throw a thin line and then i get them thicker so so he really only put one line there and and just to be clear this isn't a, a demo on how to ink david finch i'm taking a lot of liberties with this piece but had enough detail on it that it, it, it's a good one to show examples of but that area is basically black, but what I'm doing is I'm going in and I'm creating a lot of extra lines. But but if you really just look at it, it looks like black. Okay, so I'm outlining the thigh right now. Um, I'm being very, very careful to um, keep the planes of the body in and the curves and intricacies of the Bridgman type uh, structure that he created. That's a three-dimensional form. It's not a two-dimensional form and everything needs to wrap around um, and, and create three-dimensional space. So watch watch again here, I'm gonna do it. Very, very thin line, a super close line right next to it, even another one, another one, and another one. And up close, which you'll see at the very end of the video, you, you can barely even see that they're there, but, but what it does is it creates this sort of subliminal hum in the art, there you go again. Uh, that was like five or six lines that I threw all right in that area. Um, and it, really all it is is just to lead you into the black. Um, I think here I just start to do a little bit of outlining, so there's nothing, I think, too particular. But you'll see I'm always I'm always kind of strokey and scratchy with my lines. And, and again, to be clear, th this is uh, n not specifically how you would ink someone else's work but it's it's how you rack up the the detail in your work there you go look at that okay and then watch i'm going to flick these my tendency is to go in and kind of outline more simplistic areas first when i start working on a piece um just to get sort of a foundation down but you want, you want to be careful that you're not just adding extra lines for no reason. And you really, really don't want them to be obvious. If, if your stuff starts to look like you've just thrown lines everywhere, um, you're, you're kind of defeating the purpose of it. The key is create the strong structural forms and then create a vibration of thin lines work next to it that that is almost subliminal i'm going really really thin right there and in, in a moment i'm going to switch up and start working on the upper area towards the feathers but but anyway so that's how i block in just the simple shapes i thought it was important to show that because um it, it, it's a good foundation that it's something simple. All right. So up here, what I'm doing is I've got a brush and I'm going to go in. I'm start to, I'm defining this shadow that's under the top plane of the, um, Hawkman's like feathers. So I'm really, what I'm doing right now is I'm just outlining, I'm, I'm creating a border and going like, all right, everything beneath this is going to be black. You'll see me do a little bit of double line work. Okay, so now I'm getting brave, not brave, but I mean, I'm, I'm starting putting in feathers, but you're going to see I'm going to rotate the page in a second and I'm going to really get down to business um, and it'll start going quite a bit faster. This is at real time. Um, uh, so what I'm doing right now is I'm putting in individual feathers, but the shadows underneath them, then I did a little blending there and then I'm going to start flicking the lines and again, I'm going to rotate the page in a second, but but watch one, two, three, four. 
one, two. So that that four was really one line that I threw four to create it. It, it goes out of frame for just a second. It's going to go back in in one sec. Here we go. All right, so watch. Thin, thick, 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 thin, thick, 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 thick. Thin, thick, th oh, a couple of thins. Um, but but honestly, like it, when you see it at the end, I, I kind of scroll through the whole piece. You can barely, barely see the thin lines. They're, they're, they're only there to, um, yeah, I don't even know. I don't know where I got it from. I mean, a lot of, a lot of inkers do double lines just, just to be clear, but, but, but there's a look that I like that, that I can get and, and, uh, you, you can't use it on everyone, but, but it's a pretty powerful little, uh, technique, um, that, that creates, um, yeah, just this this feeling of extra detail. So what I'm going to do, I'm going in now and and I'm I'm inking the feathers. So again, it's it's generally like the the darker areas are either cast shadows or um, areas where just the feathers uh, sort of black out. So I'm I'm going in. I'm putting in those big bigger shapes, but you can count the lines. Watch. All right. So those that's real thin right there. Um, but I doubled it up, tripled it up. There's a little more. Thin, 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 thin. I mean, I put probably seven lines right in that little spot. Thin, 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 thin. I mean, you, when you start to count the strokes, you realize that I'm not just like, you know, there's there's a lot of quote unquote detail going in. It's not a big deal, but it's just, it's a subtlety that you might miss. Watch when I start feathering this area out. It should start coming in a second. What I what I'll do is I'm I'm gonna start to blend the the black to the gray to the white. So the blend will be the gray, meaning the the actual feathering. Feathering. I'm starting to do it a little bit here. So those are just thin to thicks, thin to thick, thin to thick, thin to thick. Then I blend, thin to thin. Yeah, right. See, same thing. Thin, 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 like a little thicker there. Blend, 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 blend. <laughs> Some strokey stuff, right? <laughs> so those are just grays that I'm putting in right there. That's just just very thin to thick feathering that blends the white to the black. Those are longer, but not too long. And if uh, if you check out my Patreon, I have much longer videos that go into quite a bit more detail on this stuff. So um, for a dollar, you'll get full access to the site. I'm actually doing a, a David Finch demo uh, on a, I guess it's an X-Men piece right now. So um, I upload pretty long chunks of it and get kind of more into the nuts and bolts. I've been playing with camera angles, so uh, I'm going to switch to a crow quill here in a minute on this piece, if I'm not mistaken, and do the top feathers. But right now, I'm just uh, there's there's sort of like a ridge on the top of the feathers that kind of wraps around. And uh, I'm just, I'm kind of outlining that. But still, you see me going in, and I'm doing the blend. So that's the grays. They're just very, very fine feathered lines. But, I mean... How was that nine lines? One, two, three. Do you look look how many I'm putting? Do you see that? That's just for something that almost is black. I'm giving away all my secrets. I should call I should call my YouTube channel Comic Secrets. <laughs> all right. Okay, so here's the croco. So yeah, so what I do now is I start going across the top of this, and I'm going thin to thick. Um, and uh, these are what I would consider more choppy, kind of aggressive lines. Uh, so the, although they're feathery, they're they're um, more angular. I'm kind of sculpting little triangles, and then I'm flicking those like extra thin lines. You see that? I put like three or four like little things right in there. And here, you see that? Again, it's like four lines, and I and I use the crow quill really like a brush. It's just like a more um, rigid brush, but 
same idea and and i can do i can get the same effects with a, a copic multi-liner pen it doesn't matter it's the same thing it's me controlling it not the tool so just remember that because it's, it's, there's like I, I think some fallacies with uh the belief system of what tool gets what effect doing a little bit of blipping and blopping up there meaning just uh I'll, I'll push the nib down and kind of create like a little bit of a um they can they can be rounder you if you have good control over the pen you can kind of get um more of a triangle effect with it and then it also depends on just the quality of the the pen nib i think i'm using a, a newer one i had switched mine out yesterday it looks kind of clean if i look at the rest of the pen um and again look how many strokes i'm doing blending thin to thick a little blending Th pretty thick kind of triangular line same deal did another one there my guess is I'll, I may I may do one more underneath that I'll see if I blend it okay am I gonna grab the toothbrush now no Oh, I, well, I'm going above. Oh, okay, I'm getting the upper feathers that are sort of poking out. Underplanes are generally heavier, and any kind of corner I'll generally hit a little harder. So you'll see as I take the line down and I'm pinning it to the um, object, the wing in this case, uh, I'll generally will create like a cast shadow. So when stuff connects... I'll, I'll start to make it a little bit thicker. Watch, see, I did that. It's pretty trippy, like watching this stuff back because I, although I see myself ink every day, when I see it on video, it's definitely, um, it's a little different and it actually, it makes me be more critical of what I do too. So it's, it's, uh, I've learned a decent amount. I, I got pretty strokey there, almost like a dry brush thing. It, it looked actually quite cool. Um, okay, so now I'm going to grab the toothbrush. I don't know. It, the toothbrush is coming any second. But but what it, the point was is uh, um, you have like three layers of detail on on that area right now. So you've got you've got the 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 cast shadows. You have the very very thin feathered um, gray scale. You've got the um, the chunky sort of pointy stuff up towards the top. Uh, you've got the cast shadows where the feathers connect. And then a fourth layer of detail if you're not going to use hatching, which on the wings would be uh, too distracting generally. Um, the splatter will actually create an even more... Um, like another layer of detail. Normally I would mask this thing off, but because it was, I was trying to do a speedy demo, I didn't, but you know, you would, would obviously want to cover up anything that uh, you don't want black splatter on, but I, I didn't really care because I'm not going to do any more on this piece. So this was like pretty much the end of it. I had, I had accidentally printed out um, an, uh, an extra copy of this. So it's just, it's black ink on a toothbrush. There's many, many different ways to splatter. Um, that brush tends to get very, very fine splatter. Um, and I just dipped the tip of it. So, so basically where I'm flicking, that's the only part of it that I touch with the black ink. And, uh, yeah, I'm just using my finger and I'm misting it. You want to tap it off after you drip it. When you dip it in the ink, tap the brush a couple of times to make sure you don't have any big drops in it. Um, and then here you'll get to see the detail of it. So see those thin lines next to the blacks and then i did a little bit of rendering in there which i'll show you in another video but that blends it and then up here um you get to see uh, the detail that i did in here so you've got your solid blacks the feathering um the crow quill work towards the top with the cast shadows and then splatter you know and i'm telling you with when this piece is fully done although i'm not going to finish it um, you would have so much detail and so much texture on it just from doing those, those ideas. It would really be powerful. All right. I'll talk to y'all later. Have a great day. Smash the like and please share. Bye.